Hey y'all, Sai here! Well, this is an episode of OPP, but it's also going to be an episode where I just talk about some stuff because we went to Arizona on a trip and that was cool. And then I have some projects that uh, I was filming and then I forgot to film the rest of it. And I also had some projects where some stuff went wrong, so I stopped filming it. <laughs> I've had a lot of those. Uh, anywho, first thing I wanted to say was uh, I got a message from Max Reed and he challenged me to do 20 new and interesting projects to celebrate 2020. Okay, Max, challenge accepted and woo! I'm excited about that. And I was like, 20 projects? But then I got to thinking, 20 projects? Wow. I'm excited about it. Yeah, I think it can be done. So we went to Arizona and we went with some good friends of ours. And so that was a lot of fun. And while we were there, we visited family, my aunt and uncle who lived down there. And we also visited some more friends, two different couples that are both from Oregon. Well, one is from Oregon on one of the couples and they moved down there. And so we got to visit both of those families. And then I met a YouTube viewer her name is Lori, and we had lunch and that was great. So much fun to meet you, Lori. And we visited the Rotans. And so that was so much fun. And Eric and Dave and Vicky, they're all great. I met their daughter, Rachel, too. And it was a lot of fun. Got to see some of their puppy dogs, big puppy dogs. And they said they're gonna come to Oregon. So I'm really excited about that, woo! So, Nadine and Noah, my grandkids. So Nadine's a faceter. They're all in Tucson right now at the gem show because she's made a bunch of gems she's taken down there and also she gets uh, some more stones so she can do faceting. But I'll leave some links down in the description box to her stuff, her Instagram page and her Etsy page. Um, anywho, she calls her company Tumbled Upon Faceting, which is so awesome. And she asked me to make her a sign. So I made the sign and I hand routered it and then I poured resin over the top of it and the resin was kind of funky so I poured another layer of resin it made it all nice and smooth um, but it was it just wasn't so anywho uh, husband got his CNC machine and so he routed out on the CNC machine a tumbled upon fastening sign for her and then I painted it and sanded it and put a finish on it and put some um, legs on the back so it'll stand up for her. I think it turned out great. My sign didn't turn out so great. <laughs> but grandpa's sign, husband's sign turned out really good. So yay. And then Noah, he gave me these antlers. Uh, just cutoffs of antlers and I've never used antlers before and so he asked me to to make something, one for him and one for me. And so I cut out a little cross and a little Jesus fish with the other, or an ichthyus, or something like that's called. But anywho, has, has anyone ever scroll sawed an antler before? Because it's a very familiar smell when it's being cut. And yeah, it was actually pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, for me anyway, and that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, now we'll do some OPP. So this first one is from Daryl and he's from Canada. And he sent me some intarsia that he has done. And most of these are Judy Gale Roberts patterns, he says. He says the puffin is the official bird of Newfoundland, Canada, if I'm saying that right. And that is where he's from. And these are pets of his he's had through his life. And I thought, what a great idea to make a little intarsia of your dog. And you know what? I just remembered I was starting to make an intarsia of Johnny and I never finished it. Hmm. Maybe I ought to find that and finish it. This is the year to finish things. So thanks for those, Daryl. They're awesome. I have three more people and they're all from Pennsylvania. Ah! So one is Mel Boone, Melanie Boone, and she said that she's been a carver and this is one of her first projects that she's made. And she said that she, her friend that she'd known for 25 years had a Whippet dog that's passed away. And so she made this, this Whippet out of pine and then she hand carved it. She mounted it to a piece of mahogany and she's using that for a pencil and pen holder. 
So that's really cool, Melanie. Keep it up. Looking forward to more things that you do. These next couple of projects are from Rich Ostromecki, and this first one is a 1936 Ford Roadster. The wheels on this vehicle are his own design, which I thought was pretty cool. And this next one is a 1928 Chevy pickup. Nice. And this last project of his is this rocker that he made for his niece. So thanks for sharing those, Rich. And the last person on OPP today is Ron Ostromecki, and he is a brother of Rich. So very cool. And Ron, he did a ton, or I should say 19, ornaments in, with intarsia, intarsia ornaments. So he took the patterns and he shrunk them down and he made these, and they're so awesome. He says three of the patterns are from Bruce Worthington and all the rest of them are from Judy Gale Roberts. And he did make a few of the same patterns, so he's just showing me one of each of the patterns, which is still like 12 of them. So very cool, Ron, whoa. And then he also made this intarsia for his grandson, Christian, for his baptism. And the woods in this are, it's another Judy Gale Roberts pattern, by the way. And the woods he used are walnut, aspen, maple, cherry, yellow heart, and purple heart. And he said that he trimmed the cherry with a thin strip of walnut. So cool! Well, that concludes this episode. I had quite a bit in it, but I'm ready for the 2020 challenge. Woo! I'm gonna call it the Max Challenge. The Max 20. <laughs> yeah, the Max 20. <laughs> so thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye!